Tonight, leaders with the city of Coco listen to what residents had to say about their police chief. Most support Chief Evander Collier, the city's first black police chief, while others are concerned about crime and confidence. West News Gail Pascoe Brown is in the studio tonight with some of the back and forth. D. Jim, you know, residents packed the council meeting to speak out regarding police chief Evander Collier IV. The city manager says prior to hiring Chief Collier, a survey was conducted which revealed a need for change from the good old boy system that existed in the police department. Chief Collier has restructured the organization and operational methods as well as hired a diverse group of officers. Not everyone has been excited about the changes, but tonight most residents and supported the chief who's been on the job for less than a year. The chief has walked the neighborhood, which has, in my knowledge, never been done, that the neighbors or the neighborhood feels like we have a hands-on man that cares. Where we live here in Coco, it's gotten worse, and we need some, we need some serious people for serious times. He is the chief, whether you like him or not. He... He's the chief. He's the boss. Has to speak with Chief Collier tonight. I was told that all comments would have to come from the city manager, who says the impact the Cocoa Police Department has made in the community under Chief Collier's leadership is proof that the changes are yielding positive results with an 11% reduction in crime over the last year. I am hopeful that the union and members of the department, some of whom lobbied for other candidates from what day one, will work with the chief and all partners to continue to improve the department. Now, the city manager and City Council have not received any official vote from the Police Benevolent Association. Back to you.